we're on the search for the worst action figure line based on a movie. And this time we're going back to the early 90s and get hooked. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you right there with another video. It's Tuesday. What does that mean? It means our search continues for the worst action figure line based on a movie. This is our 10 episode search while we find the worst action figure based on a movie. I just said that like three times. Now, before we get started with that, let me go over something about last week's video that kind of confused a lot of people. Last week's video was Demolition Man. The final score of the Demolition Man was a 2. Now, a lot of people say it should have been three or at least four based on the other rankings in the categories. Well, I give different value for each ranking. I don't really go over that in the video. Let's say a toy company does really good at the play value and it gets five stars. That five is going to be more important than getting the marketing right. Marketing is something easy. Play value is a little harder. So that five the marketing gets is a lot different than the five the play value or let's say the look of the figure gets. So I'll go over these five categories. And then I'll weigh in some other options that I don't talk about in the video. Then I'll pick a final score. But that's how I came up with two. But I can see where the line could have been a three. I don't want to do half scores. The Demolition Man should have maybe got a 2.5 or 2.8 or maybe a three. But I felt three was a little too high. And being that I didn't want to do any point systems, I gave it a two. But I will say looking back, maybe it should have been a three. Being that's what Mission Impossible got. And it's the worst line. Anyway, I just wanted to cover that real quick. Now let's continue our search for the worst action figure line based on a movie. In 1991, Steven Spielberg took us back to the land of Neverland and showed us that Peter Pan did grow up. The film starred Robin Williams as the adult Peter Pan and Dustin Hoffman as Hook. The film would gross a little over $300 million worldwide and become the sixth highest grossing pirate themed movie of all times. However, due to its budget, the film only made the studio about $50 million and was declared a financial disappointment. Also declaring it a disappointment was Steven Spielberg himself, saying that he felt like a fish out of water while making the film. He went on to say he didn't feel confident in the script, and he really didn't know what he was doing and trying to fix it with production value. With any box office movie release, you need an action figure line, and Mattel was there to answer the call. Let's fly! Oh my god, where are we going? To never, never let me. So let's look at Mattel's Hook action figure line to see if it's the worst action figure line ever based on a film. Before we rank the Hook action figures, let's look at the five categories we're going to go over. Here is that junk man from a few weeks ago to explain the categories. First up, we're going to look at the look of the action figure. Does the action figure look like what we see in the movie? Do they dress the same? Does it look like the actors that the film's based on? Then I'm going to look at the play value. Are these figures worth playing with as a kid? Would kids enjoy playing with something like this, even if maybe they don't look like what they do in the movie? Then I'm going to rate the marketing. Did the toy company time it right? Did they release the action figures way too early to where the time the movie came out no one cared? Or did they release the action figures way too late where kids just moved on and didn't care either way? And then I'm going to rate packaging. To sell kids on action figures, you got to catch their eye, and the packaging does that. Look at the vintage Star Wars action figure cards. Your eyes are going to connect with the package and it's going to call kids to pick up the action figure, look at it, and decide if they want it. And last, I'm going to rank the quality. Do these figures hold up? Sure, we can all buy an action figure and stand it up somewhere and it will last for a couple of years. But does it stand up to kids throwing them off dressers and against the wall? Thank you, Junk Man. So now that we got the categories out of the way, let's review this action figure line to see if it's the worst. Let's start with the look of the action figure. The figures look nothing like the characters in the film. I mean, look at this one here. This is Robin Williams. Robin Williams. 
This was a major summer blockbuster motion picture directed by Steven Spielberg. And this is what we get. And I'm not going to give them the tired, overused excuse that maybe they didn't have the rights to use the likeness of the actors. None of them looks like the actors in the film. You might can understand one actor being a holdout, but not the entire cast. It's clear that Mattel just didn't try, or maybe it was just cheaper not to worry about it. The reason really doesn't matter. But let's look at the action figures on their own, and not if they look like the actors in the movie. And it isn't much better. The Captain Hook figure is the best of the figures, but that's not saying much. It looks like Mattel put in the time and details for the action figure's outfit, but then they just gave up and designed Hook's face on the way to the car in the parking lot. So let's rank this line out of the 5 star system. And the look of the Hook action figures gets a 1 out of 5 stars. Now we can see the toys look nothing like the actors in the film, but what about play value? Were they fun for kids to play with? Let's take a look. These figures are pretty basic. They just move at the neck, arm, and legs. They do come with some extra accessories that don't really give them much more added play value. The accessories are mostly swords and weapons, something the figure should come with and not really as seen as an extra. They're not all bad. One of Peter Pan's accessories allows him to shoot water, and one figure comes with a small sailboat to get a little bit more play value out of. There was deluxe figures that came with better accessories. So out of a 5 star rating of the play value, we're going to give the hook line a 2 out of 5 stars. So they're not very much fun to play with either, but what about the packaging? If you saw these at the store as a kid, would they grab your attention and make you beg your parents for them? Well, let's see how they did with the packaging. First off, the card is very simple and boring. It's the big title hook, and here we have it again. And a picture of an action figure on the card instead of using a photo from the film. The bow is well placed and shows off the figure clearly. A nice plus. It also clearly shows the accessories, but even looking at them, you're not even sure what they are. The swords and accessories come on this plastic piece where you have to twist and tear them off like you're putting together a model airplane. There's no reason for this and it makes it hard to tell what it is by just looking at the package. This is by far the dumbest thing I can recall when it comes to action figure accessories. Let's look at the back of the card. It shows the figures in the set and what the accessories are. Being that you can't tell from looking at the front what they are, you need to know on the back. So what does the package get out of the 5 star rating? You guessed it, it's going to get a 1. I don't understand why the accessories are on this little tray that you have to tear off. I said it before, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Now let's look at marketing. This is the easy one to get a 5 score on. Again, I don't hold a 5 value here as important as like a 5 on play value or a 5 on the look. Being that this is so easy to get right that it really doesn't take much effort. It's just shipping. So let's look at the marketing. The figures did hit in a low quantity a few weeks before the release of the film, but the studio was worried about spoiling the look of Hook and other things in the film, so the supply was limited. Soon after the release of the film, the figures were more widely available. It's never good to have the action figures hitting weeks or months after the release of the film, especially a film like this that didn't really hold much box office. However, being that the figures did hit a little before the film, just not in a huge quantity, it was kind of easy to find the figures before the release. So, out of the 5 star rating for the marketing, what does the Hook action figure line get? Well, we're going to give it 4 out of 5 stars. Now we're going to look at the quality to see how these figures hold up being played with as kids. Again, this should be something kind of easy for a toy company to get. So a higher score here is different than a higher score with the play value or the look. Let's look at the quality of these action figures. Well, they're not bad. I couldn't find any broken ones on eBay, and that's always a good sign. Talking to some that played with these as a kid, they did mention that Peter Pan's arm popping off time to time. But I don't think it was a major issue. Throw them around, and just normal kid play, the figures will hold up. So out of the 5 star rating system, we're going to give the quality of this line a 4 out of 5 stars. Now that we looked at all the categories, what's the final score of the Hook action figure line? Again, let me stress, a high number for the marketing is a lot different than a high number for the look or play value. So let's look at the final score. The look of these figures are bad. Some of the worst I've seen so far. And it's really bad when it comes to looking like the actors in the film. And the accessories are boring. 
packaging is bland and you can't even tell what the accessories are. The whole thing of having to twist and tear your sword off that little piece of plastic just angers me. The only thing this action figure line had going for it was the release date and quality. Two things that are so easy to get right that they don't hold as much value as the others. So what's the final rating for the Hook action figure line? Out of the 5 star system, we're going to give Hook 2 stars. Now I'm not sure this is the worst action figure line ever based on a movie, but it sure is the one that angered me the most while doing these videos. I just really hated this line. I never really knew it or looked at it before now, but just looking at them just really angered me. And then to find out I had to tear off the accessories on that little piece of plastic, it was just too much. Giving this line a two is probably being generous. Anyway, that's this week's search for the worst action figure line based on a film. Don't worry, we got three more episodes. What will be next? Will it be the worst action figure line ever based on a movie? Or have we already found it? Who knows what stands in store for next week. I make this look good. I want to thank you for watching. As always, support this channel. Head over to Patreon. Links up there or in the description below. Head over to that junkman.com. Buy some cool t-shirts like this KB toy shirt. I know you want to walk around with it. Hit subscribe. Ring that bell. Leave the comments below what you think about the Hook action figure line. And we'll be back next Tuesday as we continue our search for the worst action figure line based on a movie. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.